Hey guys, it's Sam, and I wanted to do a little something different for this video. It's still same old, but I'm gonna do a quick get ready with me. I don't have that much time, although I do have enough time to film a video. So I thought I would do a get ready with me. I'm gonna try to keep it simple, like my usual makeup looks. I'm sorry about the air conditioner. My body, I just don't know if it's different from everybody else's, but I always run hot. And it's a nice day, but I only have one window in this room and has the AC unit. We don't take it down just because it's just a hassle sometimes. So I just leave it on, but I don't get any fresh air. Um, I don't spend all my time in here, but I do spend a lot of my time in here. I have already put on uh, my moisturizer. I'm actually using, uh, I don't know why I said actually. I'm using the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA. And I just used it today for the first time, so I don't know what I think of it yet, but it seems okay. And then for primer, I've been trying to finish up. And this is where my, uh, sorry if I'm crooked. It might have to just stay that way. I have been, so I've been getting new makeup, but I've also been trying to use up a lot of my collection so I'm in the process of trying to finish up this is the Dino Platts Pro Bay Invasion number two baby pink charm I've had this for a really long time and it's one that has kind of it gives your uh, skin kind of a luminous looking appearance I don't know if that was helpful at all maybe this one see it right there and then so I don't like to just use that because I feel like my makeup doesn't stay on. Um, so I'm using the Lancome La Base Pro. It looks like that and that has a definitely like a much more silicone-y feel which I wasn't a fan of. But now I realize the, sorry if I look dis looking distracted, there's like this constant circle in my, in the, my phone camera. And so I've been really liking those and I feel like those work, but I do feel like, and that's what I'm aiming towards, right? There's just always something that you're aiming towards when you're decluttering, um, is trying to find your holy grail product. And this is probably the one for me. So I'm trying to whittle down my primers uh, until I get to that. And then I'll just probably have, I like what I'm thinking of in the future is having the one favorite primer, let's just say, if we're talking about primers let's just for example say so I want to have one that's my favorite the Nivea one and then I'll always constantly be trying a new one so I only have two of something and that's kind of what I want to head towards for the rest of my makeup collection if that makes any sense so I'll always have one favorite but then I want to be testing out um, you know something some other product and for foundations I feel like that might be a little bit hard just because you have kind of like for your different skin needs like when your skin is dry or when it's summertime or winter time so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to be uh, I mean I'm still gonna use up these products but I'll probably for foundation probably always will have at least five in my collection just trying to be honest here um, so for foundation I am gonna actually use a powder because I just don't want to go through the whole routine of liquid and then powder and this is the it's celebration foundation illumination and I'm in the color medium I actually probably should be light but I'm trying to finish this one up and well not finish it up because I want to use it towards the summertime but it's just I didn't open up the light one did I because I got one from QVC because they were having a great sale I should open one up but I didn't and I'm using, this is the Sonia Kashuk Flat Top Foundation Brush. I haven't used it, sorry, I just want to, no, this is like my constant <laughs> looking at trying to make it a little bit, I don't know what's wrong with that thing. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I got this because I like, I I consider this kind of like a long handle kabuki brush and you could probably use it for foundation it has a pretty good denseness but I just use it for uh, powder and I just want to show you so you could tell the difference between this side and that side in terms of coverage and um, how it looks on my skin 
and I try not to really put anything on this area because the powder gets I have super oily lids so the powder kind of collects at the crease and a lot of days I've been just doing the powder um, the regular it cosmetics foundation I like the powder foundation too um, they kind of neck and neck I used to feel like this one was my favorite but after using that for the other one for a while I really like that one too you could tell it covered up the pimple there. And I bring it down. Okay, so that's what I do for foundation. Now I'm gonna straight head straight into uh, blush and bronzer. And this one is the this one is the um, the Flower Beauty, actually. So it looks like this, and it's the Blush Bronzer Duo, and this one is in BD... Oof, looks like that. I don't know if it has a name. I haven't... So this is the one... I have a few other Flower Beauty stuff, but I just... I think it's another Blush and Bronzer and something else. Um, I haven't tried really anything else. I still see it at Walmart. And this is an elf brush. It's the small tapered brush and I feel like it fits this area really well. So I use it to place it and then I'll take another brush to kind of uh, blend it out. I feel like I'm such a mess in these videos. So see this fits like perfectly into there. And then I'm going to take this is a Walmart brush. I don't know if they have these anymore. These used to be such the rage. And I'm, you know, the powder thing, it's great because the weather's getting warmer and I feel like it's, it's just better, um, for when you're high and liquid isn't like just coming down your face. Uh, and then the powder, uh, the blush I'll use with this brush as well. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know how to make my face. Keep it very simple. Um, next is going to be mascara. And that's, actually, I'll do my brows first. I'm going to use the, I feel like there is something, sorry. I'm going my lashes. Um, so... The it Cosmetics Brow Power, and I need a little mirror because this one is too far away. A makeup person with no mirror that's readily accessible. Oh, I'll just use this. Okay, so I'm going to. Um, if you've never watched the video, I personally like just a very simple, just a little bit filled in brow. I don't like to do the Insta brow. So I go just lightly fill them in because I feel like in pictures, not that I'm taking pictures today, but I feel like um, they, if I don't do anything to my brows, they kind of just disappear and it looks like I have nothing going on. And I just like them to look natural, but you know, look like I have some brows. This video is probably going to go up before my, so over spring break, which was in April, and now we're almost at the end of May, I did a garden and my my laptop broke. Thanks, Dell. Which, by the way, they have the worst customer service, but I feel like we say that about every company when we don't get what we want, but it's true about Dell. I won't buy, I won't be buying a Dell again. Uh, so... My computer died and I couldn't put together this video of my garden that I put together. And I just did a simple raised flower bed. And so I'm going to take back to the eyebrows. I'm just going to comb it out. And I got it from Wayfair and I love it. I think it's so cool. And I painted it. And I 
threw some veggies in there, which are currently growing. It's my first time really planting my own garden with the dirt and stuff like that. Um, I don't do things from seed. Well, I did do it with the English radish, English breakfast radishes, but for everything else, I kind of, I went to Walmart and just bought everything, which maybe some years I will, maybe in, like when I'm older, I'll try to do uh, from seed. And then next for the makeup portion, it's not a video of mine unless something drops, right guys? I'm going to be doing my mascara and I'll, we're almost done because sometimes I just lately I've just been like quick is the easiest and I don't know if it's because work is ending soon. I work in a school so uh, in New York so we are working from September to June and I'm just like I feel like the nearest <laughs> I feel that the I know that the end is coming in terms of work and I'm just like just want things to be easier right now and I feel like the kids are the same way if that makes any sense so what I'm going to do is actually use two mascaras um, I want to just show you um, these two right here here you are uh, this one is the Ico sport waterproof mascara catch and curl um, and they say this is for obviously sports I don't do any kinds of sports really so um, I just use this to hold my curl and then I'm gonna use this one I absolutely love this mascara and if they had a waterproof this would be my new favorite the wand on this when I show you it's amazing and I just wish it was a waterproof because it doesn't want to hold my curl otherwise okay so let me just open that this is the tweezerman um, eyelash curler and I love this one this one has replaced the Sonia Kashuk as my favorite one but that they're really good either one I know this one is more expensive than that one so um, you'll get a good mascara wand either way that's not a mascara wand eyelash curler either way and um, I've tried all of those the Shiseido the Shiyumara one um, and these two are the best Okay, so I'm just gonna brush that through here. And then I want to show you, before I move on to the other eye, the CoverGirl one, the newest one, the Lash Blast Active. And I was, you know, I knew it wasn't waterproof, but I went ahead and got it anyway because I was like, oh, active, kind of like sports like the other one, the Ico one, maybe it'll hold my curl because why wouldn't it? and but it doesn't but it does so this brush it's a little bit smaller than the lash blast which is my favorite currently but this one if it was waterproof it would replace that one this wand i wish sorry i really want you guys to be able to see this and my thing is just not working. oh there it goes so it's just the way the bristles are it really does well to like get when you get in there it separates the lashes really nicely hopefully you're seeing that and I was looking at Target for some reason for for this I think I was looking to see if they had waterproof yet and so I got the very black and <laughs> I noticed that they had extreme black and I'm like extreme is seems more blacker than very black so I think I'm gonna try that one too um, but as you can see the difference between this eye, uh, eyelashes to that one, although these eyelashes are falling out. It's only on this eye. I don't understand it. I've said that before so many times. Um, I get breakouts when I'm stressed, but also my eyelashes start to fall out. I don't know what's happening to them. So they never, ever look the same. Definitely not twins, these ones. So I'm going to finish this eye. And I like this one as well. Here's the brush and it curves up. I don't know actually how to really use this because it's kind of a weird shape. But see they're short and stubby. I don't get it. And I've been using stuff on them but not regularly so I should really get back on that. There's 
wanted to show you this one again. Just the difference it creates, and I even like it more this time too. The first time I tried this, I was like, wow, it's really good. And it gets, it's little at the top, so it works really nice. I do really like this. Okay, so I feel like if somebody were to take all of my makeup and you could only buy like three things, mascara would be one of them. I feel like they really open up your eyes and um, just make you look more awake. Foundation. And... Gosh, I would just really, those two things, mascara and foundation, and I would be okay to go out. Um, so the last thing, you know what, I feel like I kind of want to do a little bit of liner. What do you guys think? Yeah? The one I'm currently using is the Physician, Physician's Formula. This is my sister's favorite. I like it too. And this one is an ultra black. It's the Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner plus Serum. I don't know about the serum thing, but it's a very nice eyeliner. It's the marker tip, and it's pretty thin, so you could create a nice line. And it stays like this for a long time. Like I feel like other eyeliners that are like this don't do it as well. I want to keep this video under 20 minutes, so I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible. Sometimes I keep it like that on a creative flick. I just like the look of just keeping it simple like this. I might do a little one. It's this eye, man. Um, the eyebrows, I like this eyebrow better than that eyebrow. The lashes I like on this eye better. I like this eye too. Maybe it's feeling left out, but it's always giving me problems. Even when I'm like, like, I have really sensitive eyes and that eye, this eye is always worse than that eye. Anybody else have weird eye issues like that? So just a little light flick. And then the very last thing, I think I'm gonna make it under 20 minutes. The very last thing is this new setting spray that I've been trying. Uh, this is the Physicians, and when I say try it, I only tried it once. This is the Physicians Formula Rosé All Stay Illuminating Setting Powder, uh, setting spray, not setting powder. And it says shake me right here because at the bottom it is, there is glitter that, or sparkle shimmer that does stay on there. And I'm going to just, okay, I don't know if you guys could see that shimmer but there is a slight shimmer nothing too crazy and it smells very nice as well very very refreshing and sweet and pretty um so that is my makeup look i'm not doing much i think we're gonna go out to eat which is one of our favorite things to do on the weekend and maybe do a little bit of shopping i don't know but i hope you guys enjoyed this look and let me know what you think tell me what your favorite uh, beauty products are right now and what's your routine like and i'll talk to you soon bye